Nintendo has produced a variety of video game controllers for their numerous game consoles. This one is my favorite, the NES Advantage. I now have a second favorite, the Nintendo GameCube controller. This is my second favorite Nintendo produced controller. I don't think anything is ever going to top the NES Advantage, but let's take a close look at the GameCube controller. As I mentioned before, I was never a huge fan of the design of the Nintendo GameCube console, but the controller is completely different. This is excellent, very well designed, and extremely comfortable. I like the way that it fits into my hands, I like the layout of the buttons, I like the fit and finish and the build quality of this unit. If we take a look at the top left analog thumbstick, it's very well designed rubberized, has little traction pads on there. I always love traction pads, whatever you call them, grippy things. Sometimes I call them grippy things. Your thumb hangs onto that nicely. Good resistance, very well made. D-pad, another analog thumbstick down here, which is really surprising, interesting design. That also feels very nice on the thumb and is easy to play with. Take a look at the button array up here. There's four buttons, the start button there. I'm not a huge fan of the multicolor rainbow buttons and Nintendo always seems to produce things or at least they were producing things in a variety of colors. In fact, you can get this controller in bright orange or whatever if you want it. I like the silver myself. These buttons feel good. I don't like the layout of them as much as the standard four button layout you see with the PlayStation controller or the 360 controller, but that's just a personal preference and also a minor gripe. This actually works very well. If we look on this side, you can see the triggers. These I do like a lot because they have a little indent in there for your finger to fit into. So it doesn't go sliding out during gameplay. So when you're shooting people in time splitters or something, it works really well. We can take a look at the underside of the unit here. I like the molding design and the shape. As I mentioned, it fits into the hand very well. Very comfortable controller to play with a variety of games. First person shooters, adventure games like Metroid Prime, and also spaceship shooting games that you know we like here on classic game room like Chaos Field work very well. Easy to control. Go GameCube. I recently picked up this controller for $15 used when Classic Game Room acquired a Nintendo Wii. This works with GameCube games on the Wii, and I'm very pleased to see Nintendo went backwards compatible with the Wii. I think that's an excellent decision. And as I've mentioned previously on this show, one of my favorite standard console controllers, not, not a specialty controller like the uh, Advantage, but my favorite standard controllers is the Sony PlayStation controller. And I love the feel of the unit. I love the design, the placement of all the buttons, and the fact that it has these things that fit in your hands and this is this is an extremely comfortable controller and the GameCube controller has a similar design it really does and it has these two nice things that rest in your hand and the button placement you take a look at the button placement guess who uh, has a similar button placement is the Xbox 360 controller you can see where the analog thumbsticks are where the d-pad is and then obviously the buttons up here are slightly different but there's still four buttons on the top right and then triggers I'd like to see Nintendo use this controller design more. I'd like to see more Wii games take advantage of this controller. And I'd like to see a GameCube controller identical to this one with less colors over here and more wireless, which means less controller cord. Actually, the controller cord on the GameCube controller is long and, and flexible, so not a bad wire, but you know they could make this thing wireless now. Let's see it, Nintendo, bring out the next generation of this controller and just follow the same color scheme as this okay we don't we don't need like red and green and yellow buttons just gray red and black and put some turbo fire things on there and some knobs you can never go wrong with big controller knob thingies let's take a look at that we got the big camera out today let the tape run and let's just look at those knobs. Turbo fire. You can adjust the turbo fire. 
had a joystick. Man, it just doesn't get much better than this. All right, well, there's my next request, Nintendo. Make this thing work with the Nintendo Wii. We already know that the classic Game Room Dog likes the original Nintendo controller, but does she like the GameCube controller? What do you think? You don't really care one way or the other, do you? Are you smart enough to know that this is plastic and you can't eat it? Or do you have your eye on this cookie up here? Look at that. Works for dogs too.